Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with any another anime, not movie, but this is kind of a long episodic type of uh, uh, a series of episodes. I'm not sure what this actually is, but there are three episodes in it and it's called Memories. Now I got interested in this because uh, I've been like, you know, uh, watching Satoshi Kon's movies for quite a while and I've heard that the last uh, episode of this three episode uh, thing is written by Satoshi Kon and it is one of his best works. So obviously I'm going to check out the first two episodes as well and the, the, the third episode which is supposed to be the Satoshi Kon uh, episode that as well. So three of the episodes will be here in the same video. I'm going to watch for uh, like you know each episode, uh, 45 minute episode, and then I'm going to talk a little about it, and then move to the next one. And I think the last episode, which is the Satoshi Kon episode, is probably like 20 minutes, so something like that. So let's check this out. Uh, there are three episodes, so let's start with the first episode. Uh, I'm not sure what this is called. Like the 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 three of them collectively is called Memories. So I'm not sure what this episode is called or what it is named, but let's check it out. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started. This is Memories. So I'll be putting the subtitles and this timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Katsuhiro Otomo presents. Whoa, what is this? These are like real world pictures. Whoa, memories. Damn, look at that. That's unique. I have no clue what this is about. Okay, what is this? Outer space or something? Oh, this is an outer space. Whoa, whoa. What's that? Some kind of black hole? Magnetic rose. Directed by Koji Morimoto. Corona. Wait, his name is Corona? That's some hell of a coincidence. Um, oh, okay. I'm getting a bit of Okay. Ivanov. Hmm. Damn. All right. <laughs> Damn, he's like wearing a
Damn. <laughs> All right. Memories. Oh, what the? Ooh, damn. <laughs> wow. Hmm. <laughs> Heinz. What the hell? Oh, SOS. Someone's in trouble? Okay. Wait, what's happening? What? What the? Why is he in his underpants? Madam Butterfly. Huh. Sargasso Graveyard Oh, wow Magnetic field what? Oh, they cannot go in like. Ha! Damn. Okay, like so he's like that type of a person. Like for people there, he's going to do his best. But for like you know, like when they said that go and garbage collect or something like that, he said, he was like, no, I don't want to do it. So he's like. You know, he, he really cares about actual people. Like if, if there's like really someone in danger, he'll do, he'll do everything that he can. Whoa, so, oh my God. Yeah, the graveyard kind of looks like it. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Yeah. Backup computer. Why are they like you know wearing this type of? Okay. What now? What the? What is this? Ooh. Whoa. 
centrifugal gravity. <laughs> Pirates. Yeah, like obviously, like bad people are everywhere. So even in the outer space. Okay. Whoa, it's like a labyrinth kind of a structure, you know, like <laughs> knock knock. Lab, okay. Wow. The, the, the light is still blinking. Oh, they have to record this, okay. Twenty ninety two. Hmm. All right, it's opened. Ancient. <laughs> Their ancient is our future. <laughs> yeah. Oxygen. Oh. Yes. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> They're all stuck up because of the elevator going down. Oh, the gravity. Okay. <laughs> He's stuck. What the hell? Oh no! God damn, it's heavy as well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lady or the tiger? <laughs> yeah, let's see. What if it's both? <laughs> oh. Whoa. What the hell? Imagine in the outer space there is like a place like this Whoa, whoa. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that, what about that? So there is someone here. Whoa, what is that? Huh. Oh, someone's there? What the hell? Wait, 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 what's happening outside? It's like sunny and water. Whoa, this is some. Wait a minute, is this the Satoshi cons? Like, I'm, I'm getting the, that type of vibes. Is this Satoshi Kon's one? Oh god. What's hap- A hologram, okay. Oh, that's a hologram. Hmm. <laughs> What? Woo! Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> They're eating it? Yeah! That's for the madam, not for you. Because it's for the madam! Yeah! Oh my god, I, I hope nothing... Yeah, like... Like, I, I don't even mind you're, you're drinking in the middle of a suspicious place like this. Yeah. Oh, no water. Oh, God. Is that blood? What, what is that? Oh, fake. Okay. Damn. 70 meters ahead. Okay. This is like a horror game, video game, you know? One of the handles, oh, I'm guessing, uh, oh, wow, not creepy at all. It's going to fall, it's going to fall. Oh, it's not his fault. What the hell? What? Oh, great. Damn, it's like a it feels as if. Oh my god. Yeah, this is... Hmm. 
31. Okay, this is ancient for them. Italian dance festival. Damn. Talented. She, I think she had a husband. We saw her, the picture. Maybe her husband died or something. Whoa. Okay, don't interfere with the things here. Like, this guy is like going and handing. Huh. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is most probably Satoshi Khan's movie. Most probably. Oh, they did not see. The flower. Oh my god. Ghost. <laughs> oh no, it, to my dearest ever, Carlo. 2005. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a creepy place. Wait, that looks like him. Miguel, in the picture. Hmm. Damn, this is spooky. One of those horror video games. Amnesia or something, like you know? Oh wow, let's get out of here, please! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Dolls are one thing that's really scary. Especially in a setting like this. Oh my god. It's moving. What's what's that noise? Oh, that that's what is that? What's flowing? Oh my God. Nobility. <laughs> Damn, so he she was rich and talented. Carlo. Oh, lost her voice. Oh. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Died. Oh no, he was murdered. Oh great, wow. Oh no. In outer space? I don't think so. Like this is an outer space. Like it seems as if someone, like you know, took this portion and transported it here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. This is a bad idea. Oh god. Ah! What is this thing? This red blood like substance. Oh my god, the piano. It is blood, it looks like blood. Oh my god. What? He knows that? Oh. <laughs> Damn, the, the, the liquid is slowing and it's like making the piano play. That's some next level stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh the... God damn. Oh, he also heard. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh, there she is. She's appearing in front of each and every one of them. Oh! What the hell? Oh, her, his family. Face suit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, they have a nice house. Hmm. 
Okay. Mm, job, I'm guessing. Oh my god. What is... Oh wow, everything's transformed into roses. Great. Okay. Whoa. Damn. Okay, please, like, let's get out of this place. Oh, what's that? The gun. Okay. Ah, stuck. It's smiling. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, he's on his own. Oh my god. He's like in his own world, Miguel. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, great. Uh. <laughs> sea angels wow they're shooting beams now oh great he's in his own world um <laughs> yeah. There it is. Oh no. Oh wow. He is okay. Ugh. Snap out of it. Oh! What is that? <coughs> Eating the pot. <laughs> Great, what, what now? Oh no! Oh, it's called magnetic rose. It's like magnet. Oh god. Oh! Mm 
He's not listening. All her memories. <laughs> oh no, he's gone. Okay. Oh, wow, he's inside this place now. That's not Carlo. Damn. Oh, hologram. Change his mind. Oh, what? Did he like reject her or something? That's. Oh, my God. Oh, no, his. The thing, the passport or whatever. Oh my god, it's his house. Oh. This is his memory, so did this really happen? Oh no. What's happening? Oh no, so he, oh my god, so she, she's no more. She lost her life there. That's his memory. Oh god, this is how she is. Oh, her, his passport or... There you go. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. That's that's the reality and that's the
Yeah, that's the doll. Hunt and ex escape. Oh god. So was that like an AI robot or something that was actually like, you know, sending the SOS message and doing all of these things? Analyze a cannon. Ah, there you go. Oh, what the? What is that? Damn, will it work? Oh no, yeah. Yeah, so this was the thing that was actually causing all of this. It's like a robot kind of thing. <laughs> oh boy oh my god the shooting What happened? I think Miguel is no more, I think. You know, he, he kind of went away, so I'm guessing you can't get Miguel anymore back. But Heinz can be saved still. I think so. More of a victims, oh, okay. Yeah, so this thing kind of gave out SOS signals and brought people like this and trapped them into her this whole delusion null setting wow Oh god, well... Oh my god. Yeah, that's her. Miguel is still inside. What happened? Oh my god, look at that. Kind of like a rose. What happened to... Um, what was his name? Heinz. Oh, 
Oh no. Is he dead? No, he's still alive. Okay. So he, he can still be saved, I'm guessing, if Corona gets. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be saved. Oh wow, that was. Okay, that was the first episode of uh, Memories. Okay, one thing. Um, one thing I need to check here. Is this the one that was like Satoshi Kon's. Um... Just a sec. Like, that was written by Satoshi Kon because I know um, one, you know, one of like one of the three episodes is done by <laughs> Satoshi Kon and I, I have to say like the setting of this kind of gave me that vibes. Excuse me. So I'm wondering just a sec. Mm. Ma yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is, this is like a short film. It's Magnetic Rose. Yeah, this is Satoshi Kon's. This one. It's Satoshi Kon's, uh, written by Satoshi Kon. Alright, I, I thought it, will, it would be the last one. That is the third, uh, you know, short movie that is uh, part of the memories. So, no, this one is the one. Okay. So, all right, that was the first short movie episode, as you can say, of uh, Memories. Now, here is a very, uh, you know, simple story. Uh, this uh, opera singer, she, like, you know, in her time, she was, like, you know, she was one of the best. She had money, she had talent, she had fame, she had everything. And, like, I'm not sure, but, like, you know, by the end of it, I think it was implied that something must have happened, like, uh, with the guy, Carlo. You know like, like carlo like he said uh, like you know like heinz said by the end of it that you killed him didn't you so i'm guessing something must have happened I, carlo must have done did something like you know after uh, uh eva was her name wasn't it yeah after eva lost her singing voice or something maybe he said that i'll leave you or something so before they got married like, you know just before he got married he died and everyone thought that maybe he died naturally or something but it's, it's probably that Eva killed him and like you know lived alone in this big house with only her memories and that was basically this epi uh, like, you know this episode this short movie and <clears throat> like so in this like you know outer space in this type of a place uh, I'm guessing she some like you know lived in somewhere lived somewhere and the whole place got destroyed or something happened and now it's just a location in outer space like it's 2092 or something they, they said and like you know like they like eva and all of them were living uh like you know living during 2005 to 2013 during that time so a lot of time passed after that so i'm guessing something must have happened like you know they somehow like you know the place where they lived maybe earth got destroyed or something i'm not sure and uh, like you know something happened or maybe like you know some uh, other thing some kind of space-time phenomenon happened and they got transported into this um, you know like part of the space and uh, the whole house or the whole location uh, either that or uh, I think that must have happened because in the end we see like you know a bed where uh, with the skeleton so I'm guessing the location itself was transported otherwise why the hell would there be the bed and the skeleton like you know holding a rose I'm guessing that was Eva in her last moments so and I'm guessing that the entity that brought people you know that uh, lured in people doing the whole SOS thing was some kind of a robot or something you know and that like you know uh, thing somehow like copied uh, Eva's memories into him uh, like you know into itself and uh, like you know it, it kind of thought itself to be Eva and decided to make this type of uh, uh, you know place in the memories where it will like bring people by giving this fake SOS message and uh, like you know like take them as victims and make them dream the same dream that uh, it is also like seeing 
you know it, it thinks itself to be eva and brings people and kind of makes them uh, think themselves as carlo and like you know this happens and it's as if it's living her, you know eva's memories again and again and again and that's what eva said that by the, like you know like in this like delusion in this memories uh, anything can happen and i can like you know live forever with my carlo and like that was most probably what happened and it was a, it was a great movie and uh, obviously uh, i'm guessing miguel also became one of her victims you know, by the end of it uh, uh, heinz was able to get away and i'm sure heinz will all like you know somehow send some kind of rescue signal sos signal and the corona will come and save her uh, save him and he'll be fine but miguel is gone and uh, like he's one of the victims and yeah that was like you know like that was it and the whole like you know the magnetic rose it looks like a rose when you look at it from the outside and uh, yeah like there's a lot of things that are not actually implied uh, not actually said but it's implied for example the thing that i said like you know like the death of carlos like she said that she killed him and the reason why she killed him was not saying said here so i'm guessing something must have happened some kind of uh like you know problem where he most probably said that i won't live with you or something i won't marry you or something and she killed him or something must have happened like that you know that's one thing that's kind of implied another thing that is implied is as i said the ending like he must have been okay by the end of it another thing that was implied is the whole a robot thing like how was like why was it like you know sending this sos signal like i my interpretation is as i said like you know it kind of took in eva's memories and our uh, like you know eva's memories are kind of like acting as an artificial intelligence to the robot and it's like you know like living out its memories over and over again and uh, yeah so yeah that was it that was a that's a great movie and obviously i could understand this for satoshi Kon as soon as it like you know <laughs> Get got into that territory. <laughs> you can kind of understand, like you know, the atmosphere and everything kind of makes you realize that this is most probably Satoshi Kon's movie. Uh, and another thing is, uh, which we got to know by the end of it, that Emily, that is the as Heinz kid, uh, is probably like you know, is no more. Most probably, she died, and we don't know what happened to the wife. You know whether she is still with him or not uh and like no information about that but his daughter emily uh, fell down and you know lost her life and uh, like the, the 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 ai the robot thing the eva's memories they kind of does things like that look at people's like you know try to find out people's pain and makes them actually uh like you know gives them a hypothetical good scenario where they would be attracted to live forever like heinz could have just like you know lived there in uh, you know in, uh, along with his and uh, eva's memories and he would have become someone like uh, miguel but after seeing the uh, photo he remembered and he said that memories are not a place to run away and uh, you know he like stopped himself for getting into that mess so yeah that was it all right that was a great movie all right so let's start with the next one uh again i'm not sure what like this is about it's also a part of the me uh, uh, memories and excuse me just a sec um all right uh this is episode number two of memories episode yeah it's also a short film i'm, I'm going to call them a sh them short uh, movies and how much god damn it's taking too much time just a sec guys oh great my internet is acting up okay this is also 40 minute uh what do you call it 40 minute movie or 40 minute short episode not short episode sorry short movie or 40 minute long episode whatever you call it and yeah let's see let's see what this is about all right so second episode 
Okay, uh, just a sec. All right, so yeah, this is the second episode. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Uh, the first one was magnetic rose. I'm not sure what this is, so let's check it out. Uh, so here we go. Three, two, one. <sighs> what the hell? So I'm guessing everything will be kind of related to memories or something. I don't know, like people's memories. All memories. Yamanashi. What the hell? What is this place? Oh, it's a clinic. <laughs> Damn. I hate needles. Like, I have bad memories with needles. Like, I was very sick when I was younger, and I always had to get shots and traumatic. Ugh. Oh. Everyone's sick, kind of. <laughs> Reminds me. <laughs> oh boy. And it's cold as well, it's winter. Whoa, what's this music? Whoa! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> like purple smoke, what the hell? What is this music? Damn, this is Stink Bomb? Oh my god, what, what what's with the name? This is episode two, okay. Stink Bomb, alright. Whoa, what is this? Some kind of a research place? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Bio? <laughs> Come on, don't. Oh, he has. <laughs> They're all like trying to use <laughs> him as a guinea pig. Ah, uh, damn. Chief. What? Oh no, don't use it like that. Just, just ask someone, like this might be something different. That is not red capsule, that's red and yellow. Yeah, that does not look suspicious at all. <laughs> hmm. 
<gülüyor> oh no. Eating something. Perfume. What? Oh, I thought he got. <laughs> I thought he became old. <laughs> That guy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh no! Something bad must have happened. Oh God. What is that? What does it do? What does the, those capsules do? Wow, they don't even know what that actually is. Just said it. <laughs> what smell? Oh, I remember the name of this episode. String bomb. Okay. Oh no. What's happening even? Okay, what? Is he dreaming or something? Why is he in here? Morning. Oh no, it is his workplace. What happened? Oh no. What the hell? Is this some kind of a dream that he's living? Most probably. Yeah, it seems like a dream setting. Oh my god. Oh no, they're all dead. Oh no, or is this really the real world? I'm not even sure. Eight thirty four. Okay, he called the ambulance, that means. Oh God. Oh no, he's also dead. Oh my God, I think this is probably the real world. I thought this was a dream, but probably not. Oh! 
Whoa, everything went. Why did he turn it off then? Damn, everyone's freaking out. He he's dead. Oh my god, this is really happening. What it was that medicine? Yeah, I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, why did he do that? Oh, they're unconscious. Okay, they're not dead. Okay, thank God. What? Is this some kind of confidential thing or something? Oh god. Related to the medicine. Oh great. And that guy said that it's a fever medicine. Whoa! Wait, what happened? Did he become strong or something? Oh boy, there you go. S-bomb. <laughs> yeah. He's probably the cause of everything, you know? Like, uh, everyone getting... ...unconscious. Damn, the music here is really amazing. Is he like exuding some kind of stink or something? That's making everyone go unconscious? I think it's something like that. Like everything... Oh my god, yeah. So he is the stink bomb. Wow, it's a beautiful place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going crazy eh, around him. Oh no. Is that the ambulance? Yeah. Oh no. So, so how could he even go to that place? Like you know the Damn. You know, wherever he'll go, everything will happen like this. Oh my god. Like where's the mask or something? I don't know.
Damn. Whoa. Whoa. This is a huge deal. Okay, there you go. They're wearing masks. And still not keeping it out. It's spreading. So why the hell did he even ask him to go and deliver it to him? Everyone is going to go unconscious like this. Like imagine if the pilot gets unconscious, they'll crash. Oh no, don't go. Don't go in. Is that him? Yeah, it is him. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. That's great, but oh my god, they're going to crash. Okay, thank god they've landed. No, they won't crash now. Oh. Unconscious. Oh lord, they don't even know. Wow. Secret research team. And this is what happens. Powerful. <laughs> I'm really not understanding why did he ask him to come and deliver it to him oh no I think most probably he does not know that he ingested the pill that's why he said that come oh great and so the person who ingests the pill does not get unconscious it's free for you now you can go into any convenience store and just Start eating. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Wow. You idiot. Oh, you don't realize that he's the actual person. Oh no. They're realizing it now. <laughs> 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 
they worsen the situation by telling him to come. Oh my god. Oh no. Like it's Oh he has food. Rescue him. Yes sir. Let's go. Are you okay? And there you go. <laughs> Come on, realize! It's you! The stink is coming from you! I think he actually realizes it now. Yeah, he realizes it. <laughs> Run! Run! It's coming for him. He does not realize that he is actually the source. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. He's thinking that the mist is actually chasing him. Oh no. Come on, realize. You should realize at some point that this is actually you. He still doesn't realize. Oh no. I'm wondering why is the mist following him? Like, wouldn't the mist be exuding from himself? <laughs> Nobu is in trouble. What have you done now? Oh my god. It's technically your fault. I can only tear it up. Oh, that's why. Oh. Most probably he had the fever. That's why most probably it kind of... Okay, his body is pro producing the stench. Oh, emotional changes, metabolism, movement. Oh no! Yeah! Okay, he should like calm down, sit in one place. Oh great! Oh, great. Okay, thank God. Oh, no, he's saying that he we should kill him. I thought he said that. Oh, great. Whoa. 
the best thing that they could do is i don't know like if send some kind of drone to him and send him a message that like, you know this is actually you calm down sit down go to sleep or <laughs> something like that instead of trying to go and kill him because all the helicopters and the airplanes will all be like you know what wait wait where, where's the sound coming from okay there you go yeah 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 okay there you go don't go to Tokyo. <clears throat> oh no. Um, wow. Great idea guys. Let's make him even more scared. Let us make him even more scared. Wow. What an idea. These guys are fantastic. And they even... <sighs> Some... What type of idiotic decision is this? Like the thing that they were doing, like using his grandma, that was a good idea. And they are trying to kill him. Now he'll get more scared and emotionally unstable and start moving. Wow. <laughs> These people are genius. Yeah, make him more scared. Wow. They're destroying the whole place where they could have just simply sent him a message that this is what's happening. Wow. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Wow. Okay, <laughs> now they're, like, you know, now they're exaggerating a, little, a lot. Great. Like, the great decision, like, he made. Wow. Like, this is the leader. Whoa. <laughs> wow, great. They are still doing it. Like they like they can see that nothing is working and they're still doing it. Wow.
Great, great decision. Wow. Where they could have just sent a message to him using his grandma or someone, like as they were doing it before. What? <clears throat> what? Oh, great. I think they're going to try, try and capture him or something. Oh, damn. So, like the. Oh, they're using that. Okay, that might work. I'm not sure. Wow, look at the amount of Oh God. Whoa. And this guy as well, like he's also kind of. Yeah, you, oh God. Like everyone is stupid in this. <sighs> okay, calm down now, settle down, go to sleep. Oh, his metabolism is going on and he's eating and again producing more. Oh, are they using uh, air to? Yeah, I think so. so. Let's see if it works. Oh, they're freezing him. <laughs> well, not anymore. They're here. Damn. Whoa. Okay. This looks like it might work. Let's see. Yeah. Orders. Don't interfere. Something like that. Wow. He's saying that don't agitate him. At the same time, they're trying to, they're doing that. Don't make him excited. Damn. Look at that. <laughs> I 
he'll get so freaked out then he'll start like you know producing so much gas that everyone that even the suits won't work Hmm. Yeah, there you go. It'll start. He'll start freaking out now, anytime. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Yeah, there you go. The suits won't work. Great. Ah. <clears throat> uh. These people are amazing. I'm like, I'm baffled to see the amount of stupidity that. is decreasing. Oh, it's decreasing. Wait, what happened? Did he faint or something? Oh no, they caught him. Okay, it worked. All right. I thought it won't work. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Everything could have been avoided if they just like you know sent him a little video message through a drone or something you know before it escalated so much when it started affecting all the machines Great. Okay. I think he's unconscious or something. Like, you know, he has fainted or something. What? What's happening? Um. Oh, is is that the sample? Okay, it is him. Okay. That's what he did. Okay, this is a good idea that he did. <laughs> okay, one thing I understood <laughs> from here is this is <laughs> like this is obviously like focused on comedy because I doubt there is a person who is so like you know what can I say like foolish like him like he still doesn't realize that maybe maybe the problem is actually me 
he still doesn't realize that so yeah <laughs> this is the whole you know um you know the comedy aspect the exaggeration of this thing oh my god okay this oh this this episode was this short movie was stressful oh my god as i was saying like you know everything could have been avoided you know after, even after they realized like in the beginning they didn't realize what's happening like okay that's understandable but when they realize that something like this is happening like the thing that they were actually doing in the beginning where they're using her his grandma uh, in the helicopter to uh, send him a message that was a good idea actually like you know he he could, like you know his grandma could have just said like his grandma wasn't even able to complete her, her sentence they, she was stopped before that you know, they could have just said that <clears throat> the grandma could have said that like listen to me uh like you know uh some stuff is happening you should stop and sit down and like you know do not move and like you know like preferably go to sleep like that will be the best uh scenario here and like, like even before she was able to complete her, her sentence they shot him they tried to shoot him and he got even more freaked out and he started running like uh like that was a good idea and even if that did not work before if, like you know the, the gas started going accumulating more and started affecting the machines they could have just like you know taken a drone uh they could attach some kind of video thing into it and sent it to him and through a video message they could have said that like this is actually happening uh you should calm down and like you know sit still in a place and we'll go and like you know come and help you what do they do what what brilliant idea do they, do they come up with shoot him kill him okay they try to shoot him and they miss and that freaks him out even more and like you know everything goes into chaos and they don't stop they start blasting the whole place you know using missiles and everything all the like you know buildings are destroyed everything are destroyed and they're like ah they, he's there just shoot him like, you know and it gets even even more like more messy because like the poor guy he's thinking like everyone's trying to kill me what's happening here and he starts running and he gets more freaked out and all that stuff so <clears throat> like oh my god and all right i like you know that's what happened with them the guy himself was also really dense like <laughs> after so much time like i'm sure a normal person would actually like you know sit like stand still and actually think for a moment that okay maybe everything is happening because of me so i should probably stop no he doesn't he doesn't even think about it he's just like oh what is happening here and obviously i know everything is like you know because of comedy this is like a kind of like a comedy uh short movie and they try to do it and the exaggeration is especially because of that but still it's frustrating you know actually seeing this because you know what like uh like the actual irony in this like m movie is that actually stuff like this does happen in the real world i'm not talking about the whole stink bomb that's a imaginary thing i'm talking about the scenario where people actually trying to do like so much thing to stop something whereas the solution is a very simple thing that doesn't even look at it and does these kind of huge things which which doesn't work and kind of which you know acts like in an opposite way whereas that simple like you know problem could have just been sol solved in using a simple method they do this kind of like grandeur stuff and mess it up even more this is reality like you know this is basically reality like stuff like this does happen obviously the stink bomb is a complete imaginary thing i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the scenario these type of scenario where the solution is a very simple thing but people doesn't even like you know think about use, using that simple solution they think about these type of like you know i don't know like these type of things these type of huge grandos things and mess this thing up even more and like you know uh, and like they realize by the end of it that yeah i messed the thing up even more by doing this whereas it could have solved it could have been solved very simply that's basically it that's the irony of this movie that like stuff like this does happen in the real world scenario like this does like you know present itself in the real world and we humans are stupid we think of so many alternative paths whereas the actual easy path is in front of us i don't know but yeah and <laughs> the ending was really funny because i thought that they were able to actually capture him but what they basically you know he basically did is like i'm guessing he kind of 
got into one of the suits and maybe the other suit like you know other people were unconscious or something he got into the suit and <laughs> and they were like okay like there you go i brought you the sample oh it's hot here i should probably open this and boom <laughs> all right that was funny and <laughs> i was not expecting that that was hilarious all right and okay so that was the second uh, short movie and let's start the third one that was stink bomb and i'm not sure what this is called this is like a 30 minutes short movie so let's start this i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here to sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <laughs> What the hell? That's a weird clock. <clears throat> oh, damn, the, the room is small. <clears throat> what type of room is in? This looks like, looks like a bathroom or a toilet. Oh, small. <laughs> yes, mom. Okay. Thirty minutes. What? Yo, what is this place? <clears throat> Cannon fodder. That's a concerning title. What? Hot to... Scholarship. What is this place? Okay, is this some kind of symbolism or something? Parents meeting. No, oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Wind. The number seven. I think this is some kind of symbolism. What is happening here? I'm off to shoot. What? Are they like cannon balls or something? Like there's something about shooting and then they're talking about wind direction and all. <clears throat> Number 17 cannon. So they really are cannon fodder. Literally. <laughs> oh my god. That's a literal meaning, I think. They are literal cannon fodder. Number 17. Okay. Whoa! It's 
Seventeen Cannon Station. <laughs> SG seven. For our nation. Whoa, the way the transition of oh God. <laughs> the learned trigonometry <clears throat> for this. <clears throat> Chemistry class. Wait, so they're just growing up to be cannon fodder learning all of these things wow i i i don't know what to say about this this is very unique Forty two degrees. Okay, these are the shells. Are they going to get inside it or something? Okay. Oh. Oh, so they're only charge of using the, um, you know, preparing the shot. Okay, so I thought they were themselves going to get into the, you know, cannon and get shot themselves. But no, so they're, okay, yeah, that makes sense. They are... Here for the preparation. They prepare the shot and shoot.
Oh no. Okay. So what are they even shooting at? Hmm. All right. So yeah, they're they're here for the preparation and for the launching. And you know that's just it. Hmm. Who is this? What's happening? Why are they not showing the face? Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, is he like the person who will press a button or something? I think so. Damn. Yeah, he's the one pre pressing the button. Whoa! Okay, why are they shooting? Like, who are they shooting at, even? Yeah. Enemies attack. No conquest without non toxic gunpowder. Oh, my God. Oh, environmental pollution.
poison gas Whoa, what is this? <laughs> Gossip. Okay. Shell. Same thing again, we'll like bring it up. Oh boy. Oh. Oh no, it's the dad. Hmm. Your mask. Oh, there he is again. Ten seconds. Oh no. Was that the punishment that they had to go through because of the, you know him messing up? I think so. And like you know, they said that uh, you go to the cannon floor, remain on the cannon floor. After this movie ends, I'll have to check something out. Like. like I'm sure there's some kind of. Um, deeper meaning behind this i'm not able to actually figure that out Canon family.
Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh... This is a weird... This movie is quite weird. I'm sure they're trying to symbolize something, but I'm not. Seventeen. Oh, it's that guy. I'm guessing he's like the main commander. Is this that guy who kind of comes? Yeah, it kind of comes and clicks on the... Oh... Who presses the button? That person. Hmm. What is Wait, was that it? Okay, I'm really confused here. Like one thing we can understand here is that uh, the little kid, like, as he said, like, you know, like I want to become like the person. I'm sure there is a deeper meaning behind it because you know that how the person who is actually clicking on the button, pressing the button is not doing anything. Basically, it's like a leader and the others are like, you know, doing all the hard work. And they don't even know who they're fighting against. Like, you know, like as the uh, dads, when they ask the dad, uh, no, the kid asks the dad that who are we fighting against? He said something like, uh, you, you'll understand when you're, you know, uh, older. And the whole, like, you know, routine of like monotonous work each and every day, get up, go to school, come back. And the dad is like, get up, go to the workplace, do something. You mess up, you get punished and come back again and like, you know, all that stuff. And I don't know, like, I, I'm going to check it, like, you know, try to search on the internet, like what actually, what was the, what were they actually trying to make us understand by this movie? Like, I'm sure there is something that I probably missed and uh, yeah. Okay, the first two movies as I said before were amazing, and this one is, I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit confused here, so that's why like you know like I can't say anything about this. It was obviously comparatively shorter than the other two, and it basically showed us one day in their life, you know, what the what the kid did, what the 
dad did and how they like you know were like fighting against uh some enemy and like every day they have to go and keep doing the same thing and there's this also like little portion where it seemed as like no there's this portion where they were saying that oh like use environmental friendly stuff you're polluting the environment like all that thing so yeah okay is that the end let's i think so damn it's, <laughs> it's groovy Oh. All right. Uh. So the first movie was uh, Sat uh, done by Satoshi Kon, I think. The second one was obviously not Satoshi Kon because you know it did not have that feeling, and obviously this one as well. The first movie that is, I think, Magnetic Rose, that was Satoshi Kon's movie, I think, written, and the second one, Sting Bomb, was. Funny and it was a kind of exaggeration of the whole situation, and at he it has a uh, like you know ironical resemblance to some like you know stuff that actually happens in the real world. And this one, uh, this movie, uh, Cannon Fodder. Uh, at the beginning, I thought it was like you know these like the the characters that we were seeing. I thought they were the cannon fodder, you know, like they were going to be launched out as they were saying, like you know, like okay, let's go fly. Uh, I think the dad said something like that, but then in the end we actually realized that it's not them, but they are like the people who are, you know, uh, preparing everything for the cannon to actually launch. And yeah, and then like by the like in the end, in comes the leader or the guy who presses the button, and he just comes up and presses the button. That's it, and he then he go, goes back, and the other workers again start working, and uh, doing all the like you know heavy lifting job and all, preparing and all that stuff. And I'm guessing the kids are kind of learning everything in school as they were teaching them, you know, like uh, the like you know the trigonometrical equations, geometry, so that they are able to properly like you know do everything when they grow up. And I'm guessing out of all the kids, maybe the most uh, the person who is the most uh, talented or something like you know they're going to become the chief or the captain who presses the button funny thing thinking about it you know like like being the most meritorious person being the most talented person like you know in the end you are just in a position where everything you know everything you have learned doesn't even need any application like the person who like you know presses the button i'm guessing he was the most talented out of all of them that's why he got to such a high post now he's just what he's doing he's just pressing a button so yeah anyways okay i'm i'm going to check this out like what was like the you know the ending one about uh memories canon order meaning Okay, let me check this out. Okay, Canon fodder. Uh, 
In a walled city at war, everyone's lives and livelihood depend upon maintaining and firing the enormous cannons that make up most of the city. Nearly every building in the city is equipped with cannon of varying size, able to hu fire huge artillery shells over the city walls. Oh, those are the walls. Okay. Uh, though the story is centered around a young boy and his father who works as a lowly cannon loader, the film is dedicated to the lives of the anonymous citizens of the city who slave to- There you go. That's what I was saying. You know, I kind of realized that by the end of it. To fuel the main and maintain this parody of the 20th century war machine. During the course of the film, the city is surrounded in clouds of smoke and dust and the mobile enemy city is never shown. There you go. Despite continuous reports of great success leading to the viewers to speculate if they re- Wow, okay, now that like, you know, like now that you think about it, it's really like, it's like the unknown enemy, like everyone's fighting something, you know, the uh, higher ups are telling you that, yeah, we're fighting something. That's why you need to like, you know, put your uh, heart and soul into whatever we're doing. And the higher ups are the one who are just like, you know, sitting down and s sipping champagne, where the other people who are like, you know, like working their ass off, they are living in poverty and like, you know, all that stuff that's basically it all right uh it's never shown despite and continuous reports of great success leading to the viewers to speculate if there's really an enemy or at all or if the wall state is simply firing into the clouds to perpetuate a war that has become its entire means of economy it seems similar to the george orwell's 1984 albeit with a surrealistic tone in the end of the movie the boy comes home from school there you go a news report on the television talking about the near destruction of the enemy city the boy hops onto his bed saying that someday he wants to be an exalted officer who fires the cans and not becoming a worker like his father. Through unusual animation techniques, illusion, the illusion is created that the film consists of one continuous shot or a long take. Oh yeah, I kind of noticed that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking like they were like, you know, kind of like shifting the, uh, like the transitions were really amazing. Like they were not cutting anything. You know, it's like they're shifting from one place to another. And <laughs> like, you know, like that was, that was the thing uh, that, uh, like, you know, I realized now and uh, wow. Yeah. Like, okay. So yeah, I, I had a little bit of a confusion in this movie, but I kind of said it before that this is like, uh, like, you know, they're fighting an enemy who's, who's probably not even there. And as I said, like, you know, the most talented person becomes the person who just presses the button and the, all the other person, you know, who are making like, you know, this work are the people who are living in poverty and like you know are, are, are like toiling away like you know each and every day so yeah that was like that was it and after reading this uh like you know this section the summary uh like you know it's everything is very clear to me now like i yeah now i realize it that it's like as they said like you know it's like they're fighting an enemy who's probably not who probably doesn't even exist they're fighting that enemy and like you know the person the people who are saying that yeah we're fighting this enemy that is the higher ups they're either sitting down, sipping some champagne, or just coming up to press a button. And they are just keeping this, like, you know, fantastical war, this imaginary war going, just because that is like the basis of economy here. And that's what people have been doing all along. And, you know, that's what they are only able to do now, like, you know? So, like, this also shows us how people are afraid of, like, you know, uh, like change, because, who knows what will happen if someday someone comes and says, tells them that, yeah, we've won the war. Uh, there's, we don't have to do this anymore. What will they do? You know, like all of them, like all of them are just basically doing this, you know, like putting in the cannon shells, fighting the, the like, you know, the people who are at home, they like do, do all the housework and the children go to study, uh, studying about, again, this whole thing of like, you know, becoming uh, an adult and making like you know like loading and like all the stand uh like you know, trigonometrical equations for uh, like firing the cannon like everything is revolving around this so if someday someone like actually realizes that yeah this is like a fantastical war and we have actually you know there's no reason to like do this anymore they'll also be very confused as to what are they supposed to do now i don't know like it's interesting very interesting like a short little movie but very like you know interesting way they kind of showed it and yeah it kind of took me a little uh like you know uh took me a little time and a little research to actually understand what's happening and what they are trying to say but yeah that was it
So yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to Memories. All the three of the episodes are mini, you know, short films, uh, short movies, whatever you whatever you call them. And yeah, that was great. Like you know, magnetic rose, fantastic. Uh, Sting bomb, <laughs> hilarious and over exaggerated, but fun. And uh, uh, cannon fodder, which kind of like you know, actually makes you think and uh, it's very like kind of deep in a way. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my reactions, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. All right, I usually in, in this time, I kind of say what movie I'm going to do next week. Today, I'm not going to say it because I myself am confused as to what I'm going to start. I'll kind of think about it later on. So next week, I'm probably going to do something, you know, which I've still not decided. So yeah, like next week, like it's like a little surprise, I guess. <laughs> what i'm going to do so yeah guys so that was it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another anime movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day